Hey friends and colleagues, this is Dr. Dan. In today's video, I'm focusing on extracting assignments out of Gradescope to use for your um, ABET accreditation or other types of accreditation. In this case, we need essentially good, medium, and poor examples of all assignments from a class. And because I use Gradescope to grade those, I'm gonna pull those from Gradescope. So let's first take a look at our file structure. So in my file structure here, I've created a separate folder for ABET. And I'm gonna assume here that I've got um, two sections, one section which is 002, which is my civil engineering students, one section is 003. Um, here at CSU, we've actually divided up our civil environmental into 001 and 002. I actually teach two sections which aren't all civil environmentals at two different times, but this works for our, our structure, our discussion here, okay? So in each one of these, create folders, right? Exams, homework, I have learning exercises which are different kind of assignment, and quizzes. So I'm gonna talk here about uh, extracting quizzes is and again same structure in my environmental one folder for each type of assignment okay so let's jump over to Gradescope so here we are this is our Gradescope homepage uh, it shows our courses and so most likely you're gonna be pulling these from your most recent course at least we only pull assignments from the last year before our ABET accreditation I did want to put in a quick side note that if you needed any kind of older assignments, and so this isn't directly related to ABET necessarily, maybe you're trying to pull assignments from older years, but one amazing thing about Gradescope is it holds on to your assignments from all your old classes, right? So whether you had a grade change request, right, which for us happened at least, um, you know, always has to be the next semester, only 30 days in the next semester to get a grade change request. But you can review all old assignments, pull old assignments, all those kind of things are all recorded in Gradescope. Um, I don't think they've gotten big enough yet to actually start deleting the old ones. So you can see that I used this first back in fall of 2019, um, pre-pandemic, and it still has my assignments from then. You know, eventually maybe it'll get big enough that it won't hold those onto those forever. I'm not sure about that, um, but at least for now, it holds all your old assignments so you can pull those at any point in time. And so I'm gonna jump here into my um, current course. And in this course, again, we've got the left-hand menu over here, easiest in my opinion. The dashboard just shows the recent assignments. I go ahead and hit my assignments to see everything, see all those assignments. And so I'm gonna pull data for quiz two. All right, so I click on quiz two. Uh, now here in quiz two, I'm going to um, select, if it's not already there, um, onto this review grades. And that's typically the one it defaults to if everything has been graded, basically all of these are checked, it'll default to showing the review grades. All right, so two things you need to pay attention to. One is going to be that my students are from different sections, section two, section three, okay? And the other is they got different scores. Right, so if I went low, medium, high, I can sort these by the grade, either lowest to highest um, or highest to lowest. And so looking at my distribution, I want you know one assignment up here, probably a 19 or a 20, probably just pick a 20. There's plenty of those in this assignment. My average was 16.75, and I'll shoot for somewhere around 16 uh, for mine. And then the low end, you know, you could pick these lowest ones. They're probably largely blank, probably not that interesting to look at. So I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna shoot for more in kind of this six to nine range. There's not a lot of assignments there, but somewhere in there. Okay, so when I actually go to download them, all I need to do is to basically click on each student's name. Now, when I click on their name, it's gonna open up their assignment. And so um, this student is in section two. So if two corresponds to civil engineering, I click on this um, student's assignment. It brings up their assignment. Um, now, Gradescope grades with rubrics. And so essentially you've got your assignment. Sometimes there's, you might've put markup on the assignment itself. Sometimes all that information is in rubrics. And so what I'm gonna do here is click on download graded copy. Okay, so that's the key thing here, download graded copy. So I click on that and it um, basically creates a PDF of that assignment. All right, so with my save window here, again, I'm looking in my ABET folder. Um, now you might've noticed there, like actually my class folder looks a lot like my ABET folder just because the same kind of assignments. So here I have an ABET folder. I have a student from um, 002, which I'm assuming is civil. Um, we have a quiz. And I'm going to save that under quiz two. And so down here, I'm going to put in CIVE260 uh, is quiz two. Now, um, you can only save one PDF at a time, right? And so this is a good quiz. And then I save it. Uh, and again, here is the PDF. It also opens a window with that PDF. And so it shows exactly what rubrics were selected, the optional rubrics on here. Um, it shows their total point value. And then as you scroll down, it actually shows their work. 
Okay, and so that is one of them. And then I can go back and I'm hitting back here, go back and grab another one, right? So if I'm looking for somewhere around 16, again, easiest to sort this. Uh, let's go high to low in this case, scrolling through. Again, this is a pretty easy assessment, a lot of high scores on this one. Uh, as I scroll down, we get, sorry, here's around 16. I'm looking for a section two, um, here's one. So I can click on that student, bring up their assignment, and they did well on the first two, but not on the third one there. Again, all I really cared about, it's a medium. So I download a graded copy. Um, again, creates another PDF. Uh, now conveniently, once I already have one in there, it makes it a little bit easier to then go ahead and save this. Um, so I can click on this to grab that kind of format of that. This one is going to be medium um, and I can save it. Um, and you notice I already did one of the poor ones. It's already sitting in there, but that's just the flow, right? So you create those. Now, once you have those, um, if you wanted them as um, a single PDF, you certainly could then throw them into Adobe Acrobat and combine them, merge them into one PDF, um, or you can leave them as three separate. It just kind of depends. Again, these assignments are, are a backup for all the continuous improvement and everything else. They're really, if the uh, ABET reviewer wants to see the detail in the classes that we can provide more detail directly to them, have it all ready to go. Um, and so that is the overall process. Again, just downloading these graded PDFs from Gradescope. Hope that helps and you have a great day. Thank you.